I haven't done a best and worst in gosh, I don't think this this year. So I've got a lot more to talk about, but I'm not going to get into all of it. Follow me on Instagram because I do a lot of what I like, what I don't like. I do also makeup. So I just talk a lot more. I'm on stories. I do reels. So a lot more frequently. So if that's something you're interested in, check me out on Instagram. First one is the Versed. This is their Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm. Holy cow, this is absolutely stunning. Um, it's got kind of like a citrusy scent ever so subtle, but this is truly just melts into your skin. I use this as my first step in the cleansing process when I want to get rid of all of my sunscreen. And if I'm wearing any makeup, this does a beautiful job. It has some super great hydrating ingredients as well. Vitamin E, avocado oil, jojoba oil. It's just lovely. I am really loving this. Let's talk about Calisem. So I'm going to be doing a full dedicated video on some additional products that I really like from Calisem, but I wanted to focus on this particular one because this is right now my favorite. This is their Recovery Night Complex. It has their rejuvenating conditioned media. They focus on stem cell technology. They actually get the proteins from stem cells from an umbilical cord lining of a red deer. So these proteins are going to help with skin firmness, texture, just premature aging, and of course cellular damage. It's going to help to reverse cellular damage by eliminating senescent cells. So this is truly lovely. This is a gel formulation. It is a gel-like texture like this. It is highly concentrated and it is supposed to be used when you are doing more irritating treatments like medical microneedling. If you're getting a laser done professionally, this is something that you're going to want to apply afterwards. So this is post treatment. There are some dermatologists that even use this post treatment after they have done, you know, in office uh, procedures. How I have been loving to use this is my Nira. <laughs> if you guys have the Nira or if you're looking into getting the Nira and are scared to because you hear it is super hot, it really is hot. Even level one is hot. However, and it can dry out the eye area. However, applying this right on top after this treatment. Absolutely brilliant. It helps to speed up that recovery and it helps to hydrate the area immediately. I love using it after that. I also love using this um, after cosmetic needling, medical micro needling, and I just have done my first chemical peel video coming soon. Um, and I use that post recovery after my chemical peel as well. So this is absolutely lovely. I personally feel that this is actually comparable to the Neogenesis Recovery Serum. I'm not saying it's a dupe because this <laughs> recovery serum uses a different type of stem cell technology. However, this is $300 for one fluid ounce. This is two ounces at $89 and I do have a 15% um, discount as well. So I have used this and this is absolutely lovely. I feel that this is comparable. So if you always wanted to try the recovery serum, but are just like, holy cow, it's $300, you might want to check this out. All right. Another one that I've been loving is by Time Stop. This is um, their Collagen Ampule. This uses 76.52% uh, of a mushroom extract that is supposed to help with wrinkles and minimizing your fine lines and wrinkles. And this is intense hydration. It's panthenol, hyaluronic acid, macadamia seed nut oil, aloe, and it also has that centella asiatica that is going to help with minimizing redness and any, and to also calm any irritated skin. I absolutely love this. I love to use this in the evening. Brilliant. Okay, this is absolutely brilliant as well. This is by Etude. This is the Soon Jung Two Times Barrier 
uh, intensive cream and it is just that. It is super intensive and this is going to help to strengthen your skin barrier. This is so soothing and plump. It is very thick and rich, but it isn't heavy on the skin. I do, however, love to use this in the evening because it's going to help to repair if you've got irritated skin. I used this a few days after my chemical peel just to help to strengthen that you know, skin barrier and it just did a wonderful job. It has very hydrating ingredients, shea butter, sunflower seed oil, uh, panthenol, just absolutely Let's talk about a couple of sunscreens that I've actually been really loving. This is by Hero, and I was really surprised by this. This is their Illuminating SPF formula. It is a 100% mineral SPF. If that is something that you are mindful of and you can only use mineral, you might want to check this out. My only con is that it is an SPF of 30 but that might be fine for you. It says it does, delivers a sheer glow, and it truly does that and it has these like apricot pigments that when I first saw it I was like okay this is probably going to be just terrible on my skin and it's going to be like this color tint that's not going to go away but it doesn't it covers sheer and it that apricot helps to even out those blue and red tones that you may have on your skin. No foundation needed because it just is lovely and gives you this beautiful healthy glow. Just it, it, It's just lovely and I love that it minimizes any red tint that I may have on the skin. I was really surprised by this product because Hero tends to uh, focus on products for acneic skin which is fine so I thought that this would probably however be like matte and drying but it's not at all and this is going to be for all skin types lovely. Another SPF that is absolutely one of my favorites. This is going into my arsenal. I will probably always have this. First of all, because of the price. Second of all, the formulation is absolutely stunning and this is going to be for all skin types. This is the beauty of Josan. This has been talked about by many influencers for a very good reason. It's so beautiful and it's so affordable. You can get two of these on Amazon for $18. If you're like that person that's just like, I just can't wear an SPF because I can't find anything I like, this, there's no excuse because this is it. <laughs> and you know how I am about my SPF. Um, so this is SPF of 50 PA++++. It's lightweight, it's hydrating, but it's not glowy. It's just a beautiful skin-like finish, which I love. And it's not, it's not matte and it's not overly glowy by any means. I'll put it over here on this part of my arm, but it's complete perfection and uh, no white cast whatsoever and just a very light like illumination. Perfection. And the price on this is two for $18. I mean, that's just insanity. <laughs> so yeah, there's no reason to skip your SPF now. The other one is by Beauty Josan. This is an eye cream. Oh my gosh, I am loving this. This is their Revive Eye Serum, Ginseng, and Retinol with an AL, which means it is a retinol to hide, which is the strongest form of retinol that you can get over the counter. I have been using First Aid Beauty Retinol OL cream for the under eye area for several years. This is taking my eye cream to that next level, giving me that extra strength in my retinoid. So I am super excited to be using this. It is a 0 0.02, I think it is, percent of retinol. Uh, and it also has ginseng, which is supposed to be the main ingredient. They wanted this retinol to be ginseng based and then added in with the benefits of the retinol to give you just this beautiful eye cream and it truly does. The ginseng is supposed to have several studies that show that it helps with fine lines and wrinkles and then of course you're getting the benefit of that retinol to hide. So this has truly been lovely. Like I've noticed a difference just in a couple of weeks of using this under the eye area and I also like to go like this whatever is left over on my eyes and go like this 
and then just tap ever so lightly on the lid area as well. So this is replacing my first aid beauty. A device that I have been using for a couple of months now and I'm absolutely loving it and it is the Medicube HR Booster. This is wonderful. This is an electroporation device, which is going to help penetrate products deeper into the skin. Now, microcurrent does that as well. However, electroporation gets those products a little bit deeper than what microcurrent can do. There are doctors that use electroporation in their offices to penetrate drugs into the skin. Same concept. And now I have a couple of different electroporation devices and I really wanted to use this for a couple of months to see, first of all, if I really liked it and why I liked it maybe better than some of the other electroporation devices that I have used. First of all, I love the how this operates. So when you turn this device on, Level one. it'll tell you she talks to you, which I absolutely love. There are five levels on this device. It's a five minute treatment. And after one minute passed, she says one minute has passed. Two minute has passed. Three minutes have passed. I love that because there's no guesswork. I don't need a timer. I just go on one area. I now that know that I'm supposed to move on. I love that. I love the five intensity levels on this device as well. The level five to me is wonderful to use with a mask. If you've been following me for any time, you know that I absolutely love the MediQ masks and I love these because of the mere fact also that not only are they super hydrating and calm and soothe the skin, you can use these for one minute during the day and five minutes in the evening if you want a more intense treatment, but there are 30 masks, 30, at a really affordable price and they're always having sales. The level five on here I find to be wonderful when I'm wearing a mask. After doing this treatment, I can still see that my skin just looks glowy and just plump and I love it. So this has been, uh, yeah, I love this. I use this every morning. Oh, one more I really wanted to get in here. Um, I did a chemical peel, like I said, video coming soon, but this is an absolute amazing enzyme mask. This is by Platinum Skin, uh, antioxidant enzyme mask. This is great when you have a chemical, when you have done a chemical peel and you've got still little flakes on your skin that need to come off. You definitely don't want to peel them off. This is going to eat up all of those dead skin that is on your face and you're just going to have beautiful glowing skin. I'm telling you it does that. It's stunning. I have tried other enzyme masks and they just kind of have some irritating uh, ingredients in them like glycolic acid and other ingredients that I didn't really like and it kind of irritated my face. This is super hydrating. It is not going to do that so because probably because it's made for, you know, after chemical peels. I've been using this two times a week and I absolutely love it. And this is definitely a holy grail. I've been loving Nail Reserve. These are absolutely beautiful. They are vegan, cruelty-free, 21 free if that's something that you're being mindful of. They also have a 30-day prepaid postage if for whatever reason it doesn't work for you. I've been using these for a couple of months now and I wear my gel nail polish for about a good 10 days. This definitely could last you 14 days, no problem. I prefer not having that gap when they grow out, so I usually change my nail polish around day 10. I absolutely love that they have the color of the nail polish right on top as well as on here so you get a really good idea of what the color is and is true to color. Let me show you the colors that I've been playing around with for the last couple of months. This is Pink Universe, absolutely lovely. And this is Golden Crown. It has just a little bit of golden flakes in there that is just beautiful. And that's what I've got on today. Both of these as a combination. See, Swing and Sun, absolutely stunning. And then I got Moonlit Glow to go on top of that. And it's just beautiful. They have the base. Also, what's great about the formulation in their topper is it is a no wipe top coat, which I love. Once you put that top coat on, dry them in the LED and they, and they are brilliant.
All right, and the next one I needed to share with you, you guys, I don't even know what they were thinking when they made this. This is by Dr. Skin. This, or excuse me, this is by Dr. Brandt. This is their Glow Overnight, it says overnight, Revitalizing Serum. Okay, this goes on yellow. The problem is, is that it stays yellow and it says overnight, so you're supposed to wear this. Like, I could not get the yellow. I couldn't blend it in without getting rid of the yellow. The yellow was on my face. It was all over my face. It left my white pillowcase yellow. I was not happy. So that is an absolute no. Uh, I, I don't understand. I, I'm super, super, I was super confused on the formulation of that, but this, no. So there you have it. Let me know if you have any questions. Let us know also if some of these that didn't work, maybe they work for you. Uh, and also like maybe some of these worked for me, but didn't work for you. We definitely want to know. So I hope you like this video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a like. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you do not miss my upcoming videos. Until next time.